Hello and welcome everybody to today's edition of Mexico News Network's Breaking News. I'm your host, Safiro Fierro. Remember to follow us on all of our social networks and to catch us every day by logging on to our website, mexiconewsnetwork.com, for relevant stories and news. Let's start with today's show. Gruma, the Mexican company producer of tortillas, will invest $4 million in order to advance the conduct of a study center to improve the bilateral relationship Mexico, Texas. According to a press release issued by the company, this important study center will make policy recommendations and promote positive debate and research to improve strategic relations between Mexico, Texas, and the United States. With this initiative, they are seeking to clear their conviction that working together is the most effective way to find solutions to common problems and is also the best way to create more and better opportunities for the progress of individuals and businesses. In the early 80s, Texas was a key player during the international expansion of Gruma because it was there when the company built its first corn mill outside of Mexico, and this led to the creation of Azteca Milling, one of the subsidiaries of Gruma in the United States. Gruma Mission Foods currently records sales of over $2 billion, representing more than 50% of its worldwide sales. In other headlines, for the first time, Nespresso has created a limited edition Grand Cru produced only with Mexican coffee. The company presented Tanim, a coffee created in the Talquian community in Chiapas, which will be distributed to 62 countries through the 458 boutiques Nespresso has in cities like Paris, Milan, Frankfurt, Dublin, Toronto, New York, Dubai, Sydney, Tokyo, and Seoul, among others. According to a press release issued by Nesclay, Tanim of Chiapas has aromas of sweet baked bread and a touch of nuts, besides fruit flavors, features that are given to it by the place where it is produced on the slopes of the Tacana Volcano. Tanim of Chiapas is already on sale while supplies last in the 11 Nespresso boutiques in Mexico. Finally, Enrique Maldonado said that as part of the celebrations for the 86 years of Nesclé in Mexico and 150 years globally, they will be conducting various promotional events at their points of sale. Moving on, several British companies have shown interest in doing business with Mexico, mainly in the energy, insurance, telecommunications and retail sectors. Mark Price, Minister of Trade and Investment in the UK, said companies such as British Airways, Survey Satellite Technology, BP and Shell are among the companies interested in expanding or opening operations in Mexico because of the opportunities that represent in the domestic market. The official said that many British companies want to do more business in Mexico in order to support economy and boost growth. Today, Mexico is a trading partner number 14 of the UK worldwide, but it is expected in a few years that it will become the 10th, while in Latin America it is the second, and is expected to similarly surpass Brazil with the entry of new firms and the expansion of others within the domestic market. Mexico has a market of approximately 112 million people and offers great opportunities for UK trade. Plus, there are also great opportunities for Mexican companies seeking to venture into the overseas market. Some of them are Semex and Gruma, which have great success in the UK. Semex currently earns revenue by 35 million pounds in the UK, while Gruma has two factories from where it exports to other countries in Europe. The Swiss firm Vital, dedicated to international trade, logistics and production of liquid hydrocarbons, seeks to partner with Pemex. The alliance would take place within the Cangrejera petrochemical complex in Veracruz and will have an investment of approximately $400 million. The project aims to turn the petrochemical into a refinery, which would be the first of its kind in Mexico, and will have the capacity to produce about 150,000 barrels of oil, which will later be converted into gasoline for marketing. The association between Vidal and Cangrejera is feasible with the new Pemex rules, also econ economically viable as it involves the construction of a new refinery using existing infrastructure. The execution of this alliance would benefit both companies. One of the advantages of this alliance is that the production of petrochemicals would remain as it is now, while a domestic product would be taken into fuel. 
Vital will also provide services of subsidiaries of Pemex Transport and has the ability to move about 5 million barrels of crude oil per day. With a petrochemical refinery, they will be able to take advantage of the different boiling points of petroleum distillation process to produce gasoline and LP gas, in addition to jet fuel, diesel and fuel oil. Lastly, the Mexican IPC is a major stock market index which tracks the performance of leading companies listed on the Mexican stock market exchange. It is made up of a selection of shares that are representative of all the shares listed on the exchange from various sectors across the economy. Mexico IPC index increased 333 points or 74% to 45,424 from 45,091 in the previous trading session. Mexico IPC N index gained 419.5 points or 0.93% during the last 12 months from 45,004.52 points in April of 2015. Historically, the Mexico stock market IPC index reached an all-time high of 45,357.24. This was all for today. Thank you for staying with us. I'm your host, Safiro Fierro, and remember to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and to log on to MexicoNewsNetwork.com for more information on Mexico and the world. Until next time.